We're going to have a look at how to solve an equation with a modulus in it. This is from book two, chapter two, and it's actually the example on page 25 if you want to have a look at it. Now, there are two main ways of doing this. It's really important to note that you cannot just do this on your calculator. You won't get any marks. So these are just ways of checking that what you have done is correct. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to have a look at doing this using the graphing. So going from the main menu to five, graphing function, and we're going to draw each side of the equation. So we're going to start with the modulus one. Now to find the modulus bars, go to option and then numeric. And remember that absolute value is another way of saying modulus. So pressing abs for absolute opens up a set of modulus. Then we put in our expression, so 3x minus 5, and press execute. Now we draw the right-hand side. This is a bit easier. So 2 minus 0.5x and execute. Now we just need to draw them. So this will draw them both on the same axes. And remember, we can just move the screen around by using the arrows. Now we can clearly see here where they intersect. And we can actually then use the gsolve function here to tell us where. So press gsolve. And if we pick intersection, then we can see that the first point of intersection is 1.2. 1.4 and then if you press to the right the second point of intersection is 2 1 so in terms of the answers to this question we only want the x values so the answers are going to be 1.2 and 2 so when you've done all your algebraic working and you found your answers you can quite easily check that you are correct also if you're working from a diagram this lets you check that your diagram is correct now the other way of doing it if we go back to the menu and to the main run screen, then we can also do this using the solving option. So press option and then calc. And then we can do this using solve n. So we open up a solve n and then we're just going to type in the equation. So again, we need to go and find the absolute things, which are again in numeric, absolute, and then 3x minus 5. Now the equals is second function of the numerical point down here. So shift equals 2 minus 0.5 x, close the bracket. So we have written our equation into the solve n. We press execute and then it goes, warning, more solutions may exist. Now this is, I really wish they didn't make this red because you feel like you've done something wrong. You haven't. It's just telling you that obviously when you solve an equation, there may be more solutions that it gives you, mostly because of things like trig. So don't worry about it. Press exit. And there we go. So it gives us our two values of x. So those are two different ways that you can help check whether the answers you've got for these kind of questions are correct. Obviously, this one, the solve n one, is by far the quickest. But if, like me and lots of other people, you solve these equations by sketching the graph, then obviously looking at the graph will really help with that as well.